start from scratch and build a joist to fit this, but a simpler way is to just take something we already have and I'm going to use one of these beams by selecting that within the group of uh, beams and going control C I've copied one of those and then I'm just gonna go to edit and paste in place I'll take the move tool and bump this beam up so it sits on top of itself and take the rotate tool pivot around and by holding down the shift key I'll lock the inference then rotate this beam 90 degrees keeping in mind that this is still a beam component but we want to make it a joist so at this point I'll right click on it and explode it and then right click again and make component and this time we'll just name it a per Gola joist and create that so now it'll act independently of where we started but it has all the attributes of the beams that we were working with so let's just put this into position and yeah, got the move tool here and I'm going to slide this back until it infers on the face of this beam and then we'll slide it out in the green direction and let's go 10 inches and we'll see if we like that later it can always be adjusted then I'm going to go into the component edit select the geometry on this end by dragging around it take the move tool and then I'm just going to slide along the green axis until this reaches the end of the beam drop it there and then drag it back out making sure I stay in the green direction and going 10 enter so now our beam or our joist is sticking out 10 inches and we want to modify the height of this to make it out of a 2x6 instead of the 2x8 to aid in the selection process I'm gonna move this over let's just go 10 feet so I've shortened it up and now I can change the height of it so it ends up as a 2x6 taking the guide tool here going five and a half inches and I'm going to select the geometry like so and take the scale tool and edit this down so that it meets the guideline like that so now we just shrunk that down so that it's a two by six and those proportions are okay and could be changed later if we don't like it in the end now I've grabbed the end geometry and I'm just going to slide it back out 10 feet and that gives us a joist component that will do everything we need it to do so we'll click out of that and then it's going to slide it over till it lines up with the face of the post and we're going to want these distributed all the way across so let's see what 16 inch spacing looks like on this I just move and control slide it in the red direction 16 inches and then let's do 20 of them 20 X enter that was too many but that's simple enough we can just select these and toss them in the digital dumpster and we'll take all the component all those components select those right click and put them in a group so that as we manipulate these later they'll all behave together if we decide to raise or lower the height of the pergola we can just grab the whole group and move it at the same time so with that done um, we'll move on next to adding some lattice bars on top of this and uh, take our design a few steps farther